Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new or maybe what I should really be saying is, hey guys, I'm back. It's been over three weeks since I've sat down and shared a Dollar Tree haul with you guys. And a lot of you know I was actually on vacation. I was traveling and seeing family. So that's where I've been. I did have some things pre-filmed um, that I uploaded over the last few weeks. I have some Dollar Tree DIYs and I also have a like patio um, decor DIYs as well on my channel as well. So go check that out if you haven't seen those yet. Um, but that's where I've been, you guys. I've been traveling and seeing family. And you know when you get back from a vacation and you need a vacation from that vacation? <laughs> That's kind of what happened. I just came back and I was so exhausted that I decided to give myself an extra week um, off just to clear my head and kind of relax because we also have some very big family changes um, for my family coming up over the next several weeks. And I'll talk about that at the end of this video. I'm not going to bombard you guys um, at the beginning, but if you are curious as what to what's going on and what the future is going to be like for my channel, stay tuned until the end because I'll talk about it then. But you guys, I have a massive haul for you guys today. Again, because I haven't been to Dollar Tree in a few weeks. So go ahead and grab yourself a snack or a beverage because this is going to be an extra long haul today. I'm going to start off with some Nintendo accessories. You guys, I found these in like the tech section. This is a Nintendo 3DS case or travel case. So here is what it looks like. And they also have this available in red as well. My son has a Nintendo 3DS. So I thought I'd pick this stuff up for him. But this one says it fits the new Nintendo 2DS XL or any Nintendo 3DS um, and Nintendo DDS game cards. So I'm not sure which one is out right now, but my son does have the 3DS. So I went ahead and picked that up for him. And then I also found the game card holder for the 3DS. So this says it stores 16, um, game cards in here as well. They also have this available in red as well but here's what it looks like it kind of just opens up and they can store their little nintendo cartridges in there so i thought that was an amazing find that would be a great item to keep until christmas as well um to give as a gift let me show you guys the massive amount of pens that i picked up i mean the stationery in this fall is ridiculous like got so many pens, notebooks, and things to share with you guys. But let's go ahead and start off with these new brush markers. When I saw these, I immediately thought of the Tombow brand um, calligraphy brush markers. I actually own them and they're quite expensive. And these look almost just like them. These are the two different color combinations that I found. I'm guessing there's more to this, but these are just brush tip, great for hand lettering and calligraphy. So I thought that was pretty amazing, picked up those. Then I found these new Sharpies. They're calling these Mystic Gems and they are special edition Sharpies. So they're all of these really beautiful gem colors and they are fine tipped. So we have like this seafoam green, this purple, a light blue, and then like an emerald green. So these were the four colors that I saw for the Sharpies. I did pick up one super fine tip or ultra fine tip Sharpie to use in my journaling because I have a lot of like shiny stickers that I like to write on. So I picked up those. Then I found these new pens. These are by Pentel. These are quick drying ink. And these are the 0.7 millimeter and I found it in purple, pink, and blue. So I found these, they had some back to school stuff up at my Dollar Trees, but not a ton. They had like new pens and notebooks and things like that, but they didn't have like all of like the composition notebooks or binders and that sort of thing up yet. 
because I do need to go shopping um, for my daughter. She's going to be starting kindergarten. And so I need to pick her up some things. I already got my son's school supplies because I had to order a box through the school. But I do need to get her some um, school supplies. Next, I got some gel pens by Papermate. So I did pick up the black and blue ink. And I just like using different pens. I have pens that I use in my Bible journaling. I have pens that I use in my regular like junk journals. I have pens that I like to use when I'm just taking notes um, or writing like plans out in my notebook for videos or DIYs. I use different kinds of pens for everything. I have some um, like watercolor pens. I have my Tombow pen. So I just like to use all different kinds. And like the felt tips are my favorite though. I think these are felt tip. I don't think they actually say, but the ultra fine felt tips are my absolute favorite. And then I think a second runner up would probably be micron pens. So I couldn't find these in black, which was a bummer, but I did pick these up and these are 0.5 millimeters. So the smaller, the better for me. And then I did find um, some new mechanical pencils by Papermate. I don't know if they're new, but these do have a rubber grip and these are 0.7 millimeter. And I know Papermate is a name brand. And are they doing box tops still? No more clipping. Oh, it looks like you just scan the box tops now. You don't actually cut them out. I remember I used to like cut those out of cereal boxes and all, all the time for my son. All right, now that I showed you guys like the 5,000 pens that I hauled, look at all of these notebooks that I hauled as well. And I'm not going to go into detail with every single one because we'll be here forever. But look at this super cute lemon one. Squeeze the day. So I found that. This is by Crown Jewels, which I think a lot of these are actually by Crown Jewels. These all look like they came from the same collection. By crown jewels so we have a leopard print a feather kind of watercolor tie-dye and then this one so the inside is just lined paper with some grayed print on it so I found those these look like they came out of like the same style collection and I don't think I got all of them um, I think I actually passed on quite a few because I was like, okay, I don't need that many notebooks. So um, I just grabbed the ones that I liked, I guess. So here's this one, home, sweet home office. And then this one just says notes on it with the gold foiling. So I picked up those. These were really fun. They're all these really bright neon colors so you have notes things to do ideas and big plans and the inside is lined and you just have a spot to write the date and the subject so this would be really good for um, a student so they can take notes so I found those and then these ones are probably my favorite just because I like the spiral bound um, on there, it's a lot easier to stay open and write flat. So I picked up three of these mini one subject notebooks. So these have a hundred sheets in them and they are all college ruled. So picked up three of those and these were different. I've never seen Dollar Tree do like a doodle journal before. Um, so inside you have lined paper and also blank paper to be able to doodle and journal. They had a bunch of different prints, but I didn't need them all. I just picked out this one because I thought it was the cutest with the suckers on it. And then these ones, I feel like I can um, probably give to my husband to use to write his notes in. So you have big plans, notes ideas and notes again and on the inside again it just has lined paper and you can write the date and subject 
on all of these. So those are all of the notebooks that I picked up. I did find some sticky notes and I had to get all of them because they're just so cute. I found um, all of these colors. So we have purple, green, blue, and pink, and they all have an icon on them. So this one has hearts. This one has ice creams. This one has a light bulb. And then this one has a pencil. So these would also be perfect if you're maybe doing like a teacher gift basket or something at the beginning of the school year. These would be really cute to um, put in there. I only picked up a few things from the crafting section. Um, I didn't really see a whole lot of new things since I've been gone, but I did find these new bead organizers and these are by the beadery. So you have a round organizer and then you have a mini utility box. So inside the utility box, you get these different dividers in here. So you can, I don't know, organize little beads or things. You could also use these, you know what this one reminds me of? It reminds me of um, what we store our fishing hooks in. So you could also use these as like um, little organizers for your tackle box if you like to fish or if your husband or uh, father, grandpa, or if you like to fish, you could also use these um, for that. So I picked up those. And I did get one more of these organizers by Jot. I have like four or five of these and I just love them. You get so many different compartments in these organizers. And then the ones with the round raised or like curved raised top, you could actually put washi tape in there. And that's, this is how I used to store my washi tape until I got a um, different organizer. But I love these and these are not always available. Sometimes um, Dollar Tree doesn't have these. It's like they give us something and then they take it away and then they give us something and then take it away. And this is one of those things that I feel like they do with a lot. So I went ahead and picked that up and then I also got some more chalkboard tags. I use these all the time in my crafts. I got more of this style. These ones are wooden get four of them in there and they do come with the twine and then this one is just like a heavy cardstock and you get six in here and it's round I have the ones that are shaped like a tag by crafter square in the chalkboard um, paper but I don't have the round ones and I think these are gonna be awesome for some Halloween crafts so I did pick those up and speaking of Halloween in the party section, I found these treat stacks hanging on a clip strip and they had several different prints. But when I saw this, I immediately thought of Beetlejuice. And that is the theme that I'm doing this year for Halloween for my decor. Every year for Halloween, I try to do like a new movie um, theme. Last year I did Pirates of the Caribbean and The Mummy. I did a couple of DIYs. And then the year before that I did um, Edgar Allan Poe, The Raven. So this year I'm doing Beetlejuice um, DIY. So I thought these, I don't know if they're actually black or like navy blue, the stripes I mean. My eyes are not that great, but I think this is black, but it might be navy blue, but from far away I think it'll pass as like black stripes. But I got two of them because what I plan on doing is probably cutting these in half so I get um, two pieces of fabric out of each burlap bag and then just cutting the ends like a little um, banner flag and then I can string them up and maybe put letters on them and spell out like Beetlejuice or Halloween or something. So out of six bags I can get 12 pieces for the banner if that makes sense. That's why I got those. I know I took forever talking about that. But next, I found some new potpourri by Lum the Luminescence brand from Dollar Tree. And I've never seen them do 
like different colors like this before. They usually have like brown and I think red, but I've never seen them do like green and purple and yellow. So I found eucalyptus and I just love that they have like these flowers in them and also like these, it just looks very fancy. It looks like it's more than a dollar. So I found eucalyptus scented potpourri and then I found lavender potpourri. Let me turn down the dang lighting again. Okay, so I found lavender, eucalyptus, and lemon zest and thyme. I think there was one other one, but it didn't sound appealing to me. And I also want to mention that, I don't know if I already mentioned it, but these potpourri bags are usually a lot smaller. Like I've never seen one this big sold at Dollar Tree. So I went ahead and picked those up. Now let me show you some new charger plates that I found. These were actually on my wish list or one of them was on my wish list. I didn't know it, but there's actually two different colors here. And I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera. Let me turn it turn it up again, the lighting. But one of them is more of a champagne gold. I think it's this one. And then this one's more of a true gold. So I don't know if it's you can tell on camera. So when I saw them, I couldn't choose between what the two, which one I wanted. I didn't need four of them because I actually want to use this and do a DIY with it. I was thinking of maybe putting in a mirror in the middle and doing some sort of like wall decor with it or taking some Dollar Tree nautical rope and then doing some sort of wall decor that way as well. Another idea, and I might do it with one of them, is to take it and just hot glue or E6000 some of the Dollar Tree vases in the center and do like a little table centerpiece that's easy to, I guess, um, place in the middle of your table. So I think I might do that with those. Now let's move on to some stuff that I found for the fall, some fall decor. My Dollar Trees had just one little display of some fall decor up on it and I couldn't pass it up. And I know we're still in summer. It's not even August yet, but you guys know the drill. If you see something at Dollar Tree, um, get it now because it might not be there the next time you go. So I found some pumpkins. Every year Dollar Tree does kind of the same pumpkins, but they'll do like different, they'll throw something different in there, like this one. I've never seen them do a super flat or deflated looking pumpkin. And these feel like cement. They're very heavy. This one also came in orange, and I think this one came in orange as well. But I just picked these two, you of course could spray paint these. So, and they have like this chalk that comes off on them. So, I mean, like it comes right off your fingers, but I did notice that. And then I found this new pumpkin, turn the lighting down, this new pumpkin with the sunflower print on it. And they also had um, pumpkins that look just like this, but they said something else on it. I can't remember what they said, maybe thankful, but I just picked up one of him. And then these ones were really cool. I found these stacked pumpkins in three different colors. So I found the light blue, orange, and white. I'm sorry about the lighting, you guys. I can never figure it out. So you could of course turn it around if you don't want it to say anything. Um, when you're decorating, you just turn it around. But I thought these were really cute. These are really heavy as well. Like these are made out of like cement or concrete. I don't know what the difference is, but um, they're made out of something very, very heavy. And they kind of have that like rustic look to them. Like they're, like they should be wood. Do you guys know what I mean? But that's kind of what they remind me of is like a rustic cut pumpkin if that makes sense and these are definitely new I've never seen Dollar Tree put out like these acorns 
or pine cones before. This is the only color I saw, like this copper color, but I just thought these were really cute. You could also spray paint these as well. I might do that because I don't know if this is going to go with my decor this year, but I just thought these were adorable and they do sit flat. I don't know if you guys, let me see. They do sit flat so they don't like roll around. So here's what they look like. How cute are those? I thought those were adorable. So I went ahead and snagged those when I saw them. And then probably the cutest little thing that I've ever seen Dollar Tree put out for fall is this little fox. How cute is he? Again, he has like that wood chip rustic look to him. He's very light. He's not like the cement uh, pumpkins. But this makes me wonder if Dollar Tree is going to put out any other little woodland animals for fall. Like, I think I'd like to see maybe a porcupine or a deer or like a little mushroom or something. I think that would be really cute. But he is adorable. I was so excited to find him. So picked that up. And I think just one more pumpkin. I just picked up this white pumpkin. And actually, is this supposed to be a tea light? No, so it doesn't have a wide enough opening to put like an LED tea light in it, but it is very beautiful and it has a metal leaf detail at the top. So I picked that up and I'm pretty sure Dollar Tree is going to put out a ton of different kinds of pumpkins this year. I just have a good feeling about fall. So moving on to some new candles that I found, I picked up these candles. This one is sun-kissed eucalyptus, and then this one is palm and aloe. And I just liked how it's not a traditional like glass jar that Dollar Tree usually does for their candles. This is like a matte candle. It's not a see-through candle is what I'm trying to say. But I just thought these were really cool. I like the colors. I think that these would look really nice on a shelf or in a bathroom. So I went ahead and picked those up. There's not a huge scent coming from these candles, but they do have a dust cover and I can't really get my fingers down in there, but yeah, the eucalyptus one, I can barely smell it all. So um, I wouldn't say buy that for the scent, but this one definitely buy for the scent. This is French toast muffin by Old Williamsburg. These are my favorite candles from Dollar Tree. This is a soy blend scented candle, French toast muffin. And I live for the fall scents. The fall scents are my favorite. I actually bought a pumpkin spice candle at Walmart yesterday <laughs> and I'm already burning it. I don't even care that it's July. I love the fall. I love the fall scents. And to me, it's never too early for pumpkin spice. So again, this is French Toast Muffin. They had a lot of like new candles out in the same style, but they didn't smell good at all. Like they were just like, kind of like, ew. Not like I needed any more candle votives, but I did pick up two more. I love this amber glass looking one with like this geometric shape going on. I love this. I think this is so beautiful. So I picked that up and then I also found this one that kind of has like this bubble bubble glass effect to it which i saw something very similar that i almost bought at hobby lobby uh i think like a month ago but i didn't want to spend the money on it and i found one that looks very similar at dollar tree so i went ahead and picked these up i thought these were pretty cool finds these shaker bottles and they do come with the shaker ball in them as well. So I thought that was pretty cool. I found black and white, and these actually look almost just like the ones that my husband um, uses already and the ones that he purchases. These say BPA free and top rack dishwasher safe, and you can fit 27 fluid ounces in here. And then of course the top just opens like a regular shaker bottle. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I found them 
in actually I found these in like the organizational aisle it wasn't with like all of the other cups it was with like the organizational baskets and bins and things like that that's where I found these at all right so we are over 30 minutes in and I still have quite a bit of stuff to get through but let me show you guys some food that I picked up um, this week I found full-size boxes of Nutri-Grain bars um, you do get eight bar I think these are full size they feel like they're the normal size that I usually buy at Walmart but you get eight bars in here and these don't expire until September 3rd of 2021 which is coming up in a couple of months but my kids will eat these before then so I picked up two boxes. I only saw strawberries, so I picked up those. And then I picked myself up this Progresso tomato basil soup. And then it comes with cheddar crackers. I thought, I don't know, I thought I would try it out. I usually don't eat like soups that come in a container or a can, but except for tomato soup. I love tomato soup, like Campbell's, just regular Campbell's tomato soup with a grilled cheese sandwich. It's so good. So I decided to try out the Progresso brand. So I picked that up and I'm going to save it for the fall. I picked up three of these display easels and I got them in clear. So I got one to hold my cookbooks in my kitchen and then I thought I would snag a couple more so I could use for when I'm decorating my coffee bar for the different holidays to hold up signs and things like that so I did pick up three of these you can find these in the picture frame section usually on a clip strip so I found or I picked up three of those and then I did get this two shelf closet organizer in the closet organization section and I actually picked this up for my grandpa he's coming to live with us and so I thought maybe I'd pick something up for him to start organizing his room and his closet. Um, so I picked that up for him. And then for my husband, I got this Performance Series Self-Adherent Wrap by Kirad. It looks like it's sponsored. Oh, it says Official Medical Supplier for Iron Man Series. He's working out all the time and training for his race that he's getting ready to do. Um, so I thought I'd get him some of this to take with him for that race. So that's it for all of the random things. Now let me show you guys a few um, things from the beauty section and the hair accessories department. I found some of these scented wipes by Be Pure. You get 20 wipes in each of these. So this one is citrus scented. Love the packaging on here. Reminds me of Bolero packaging. And then I got lavender and then coconut. And I like to use like the sanitizer wipes more than like sanitizers that are usually at the front of every store because some of them smell funky. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but some of the hand sanitizers uh, smell like fertilizer or like grass seed. They smell like the, the garden section at Home Depot. And they just that smell just lingers on your hands and it's so gross. It stinks so bad. I hate that smell. So I like to carry my own sanitizing wipes. And I don't even know if these are actually I thought they were sanitizing, but it says they're just scented hand wipes. But they smell good, at least the coconut ones do. But yeah, I have other scented or sanitizing wipes, but I thought those were sanitizing, but I don't think they are. I found this new sheet mask by Garnier. This is a glow boost, so it has like vitamin C, it looks like, and a vitamin C mix serum, and I, Where's the mask at? Oh, okay. So the mask is up here. And then it looks like maybe you just like dump it. Oh, there's like all these instructions on the bag. All right, this looks complicated. You have to do like all of these <laughs> steps. But I don't know. I just picked it up because it's a name brand. 
face mask and anything with vitamin C I know is really good um, for your skin. So I went ahead and picked that up and holy hair accessories, you guys. I mean, look at how many <laughs> new scrunchies and hair accessories I got. All right, let's go ahead and start off with my favorite ones, which are these jumbo oversized scrunchies. And I got a ton of them. A ton. I'm not done. <laughs> I got all of these new scrunchies. So some of them have like this sheer sheerness to them, but look how big they stretch out. And so that's how I like to do my hair. I'm actually wearing a Dollar Tree scrunchie right now. I put up my hair and I put it in like this little I guess bun and then I take the extra hair and I wrap it around and then I just take a big scrunchie to kind of like just hold it all together because I have super long hair. And so I like that these are oversized. So here's the black and white one or ivory one and then the gray one. And then these ones almost look like a suede material. And I love these colors. So I found those ones. These ones are all printed. So I found this print, this tropical print, this one, but I just like how big they are. So I found those scrunch, I think that's it for these kinds of scrunchies. And then I found these like, smaller scrunchies with the little tails on them and when I saw these they just reminded me of like fall colors and at first I thought they were pumpkins but I think they're like little roses so I found these ones I think I thought were pumpkins because of the orange but look how cute these are for fall so here is all of those kinds and then the very last things of this haul and the hair accessories are all new headbands. So I found these corduroy looking headbands and these four different colors. And it looks like they are mask holders as well. So they had, I was trying to figure out why they have buttons on the side. Um, and then I thought, oh, okay, they're right there. So it's probably when you put it on, it can hold your mask on the headband rather than hanging on your ears. Cause I know that does bother some people and Dollar Tree did come out with something very similar, a different kind of headband that had the buttons on it as well. So even if you don't wear a mask with this, I think it'd be super cute. Um, and it's very soft. It's like a, like a suede corduroy. I just thought they were really pretty. So I found those and then these two head wraps I found. And I thought they were polka dots from far away again because my eyes are just kind of bad, but they are actually tiny little hearts. So I thought these were really cute. And I love the headbands that are kind of like a chain link at the top. Those are just my favorite. And I wear Dollar Tree headbands all the time. So picked up that. All right, you guys, so that was the haul, and oh my gosh, I've been sitting here talking for over 50 minutes, so I'm probably going to have to edit out a lot, but I just wanted to show you guys all of the new things that I found. I was so excited because I've missed three weeks, and I needed to play a little bit of catch-up, so I just kind of unloaded all this stuff on you guys, but I'm about to make this video even longer because now I'm going to explain to you kind of what's... Um, what's happening with our family and um, kind of the plan for my channel moving forward. Um, but pretty much my son, uh, my teenage son is actually moving out. He's moving in with his, his father who lives in another state. His father and I have been co-parenting since he was pretty much born. Um, and we have, we share custody of him, but during the school year, he, He's, he's lived with me and then for summer breaks, he goes home, he goes home to his dad's and on school vacations and breaks, he always flies 
um, to his dad. So now we're just pretty much switching roles. So he will be coming to me for summer breaks and um, coming to me for school breaks. And this is a very big transition for us, um, for not only me, but also for my daughter and my husband as well. This is gonna be very different and probably very difficult in um, for probably several months just getting used to it because he's my baby and although I'm very very happy for him that he gets to spend more time with his father I'm going to miss seeing him every single day so that's going to be a very um, I guess difficult transition to, to as a mother so we have that going on but of course that's been in the works for like at least six seven months now and we just got him um, signed up for school and everything, and he's going to a really great school. So um, I'm really excited for him, but also kind of, of course, sad at the same time. So that's going on. And probably about a week before I left for vacation, um, we kind of figured out that my grandfather, who lives alone, um, should not be living alone anymore. Uh, he's fine. He is very much still able to take care of himself, but he does need some help. Um, so I'm going to be moving. We are going to be moving my grandfather in to our home and he's going to be a part of our everyday life and our everyday um, schedule and routine and we are going to help take care of him. So at the beginning of next month, I will actually be driving out of state to another state and picking up my grandfather and driving him back home um, with his belongings and he will be moving in where we can help take care of him. And so as my son is leaving, my grandpa, my grandfather is coming in. So these are very big family, family adjustments and changes that are going on. So I appreciate your patience. I will not be uploading at the beginning um of august just because i have all of that going on and i'll be traveling and um again and <laughs> moving my grand grandfather in and getting him adjusted um to his new life here in california so thank you guys so much for supporting me and this channel i have missed you guys so much the weeks that i've been gone um, but I just wanted to let you know what was going on and as far as my upload schedule for my channel it's going to be kind of rocky for a little bit just until everything gets we all get settled into our new um, transitions and everything so I will basically be posting when I can and when I have time and I'm not going to stress over um, deadlines and schedules um, while I have all of those these new changes and transitions going on. I think it's very important to take care of your mental health and your sanity and to take care of your family first. So that's what I'm going to do. So thank you guys again so much for supporting this channel. I love you guys and until my next video, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Take care.